How's it going guys? So game week 20 of the Premier League season just finished up. It was a midweek round of matches. Looked very unpredictable on paper and that's exactly how it proved to be because there was a lot of surprise results in this one. And yeah, let's have a look at who's done well, who's done not so well and everything in between. For who's flying high, I'm going for West Ham. They came from behind to beat Crystal Palace 3-2 away from home and... West Ham are the form team in the league at the moment. They're unbeaten in, I think, six Premier League games. They've won each of their last four. And they're just playing fantastic football as they do it. They've thoroughly deserved every single win they've gotten there. They're up against Liverpool next. And if Liverpool's game against Tottenham had gone differently, West Ham actually would have been going into that game ahead of them on the table. They were temporarily sitting in fourth, back down to fifth now. But the way they've been playing... I wouldn't want to say that Liverpool should just go and beat them in that game. They have every chance, to be honest, for the season in general, the way they've been playing. You know, sky's nearly the limit for them because they've really, really looked the full party piece. Also want to give a quick shout out to Manchester City. They moved to the top of the table with a very emphatic 5-0 win over West Brom. And yeah, they're... As, as good as West Ham have been, Man City are the form team in the league at the moment. It really doesn't look like anyone can beat them. And yeah, they're definitely my hot favourites to go and take the title. For who dropped the ball, I'm going for Tottenham Hotspur. They were playing at home to Liverpool and they were roundly beaten. They were pretty much played off the park. Yes, they did have the ball in the back of the net in the opening few minutes, but it was ruled out for a very, very tight offside decision. Maybe things would have gone differently then. If that had counted, maybe things would have gone differently if Harry Kane hadn't had to go off injured at half time. But for the most part, Liverpool were well worth the win here and Tottenham just didn't show up. And in recent games, it's Liverpool that hasn't been showing up. You know, they went eight hours nearly without scoring a goal in Premier League football. Tottenham really should have just tried to set up to actually hurt Liverpool in this one. And they didn't. They had a few chances, nothing too spectacular. Even the goal they scored from Hoiberg was a long-range effort that just happened to go into the top corner. Well, I say it just happened. It was a thing of beauty. But, you know, it wasn't a brilliant chance created by Tottenham or anything like that. And, yeah, they kind of let Liverpool find their feet in this game, which is something that recent opponents of Liverpool haven't been doing. So, yeah, Tottenham, you had a chance here to make a statement and you didn't take it. For shock of the week, I'm going for the nil-all draw between Fulham and Brighton. Now nah, I'm only messing. I'm going for <laughs> Manchester United 1, Sheffield United 2. And yeah, I don't think anyone saw this coming. At the time of the match kicking off, United had slipped down to second because of Manchester City's earlier kickoff. Had the chance to take back top spot. They were playing at home against the team in 20th position in the league. The team that had five points to their name going into this. And... United were awful, pretty much. You know, I don't know if they just took for granted the fact that they were playing against Sheffield. They just went into the game thinking, oh yeah, we'll breeze through this. We don't need to kick into any high gear. Well, they didn't kick any, into any high gear and they 100% paid the price for it in this one. For star of the week, it's a tough one. There's Thomas Suchek, got two goals in West Ham's win over Crystal Palace. Ilkay Gundogan, also two goals in Man City's win. And there was Trent Alexander-Arnold who got a goal and an assist to his name in Liverpool's win over Tottenham. It's really tough but I'm going to give it to Gundogan because he's just been a revelation for Man City this season. You know, they have David Silva's moved on and Ilkay Gundogan's just stepped it up. He's never really been bad for Manchester City while fit but he's just on a different level so far this season. And with Kevin De Bruyne injured in this game he... Brought it up another notch forward. Both of his goals were absolutely wonderful. He's been really, really good to watch this season. So, yeah, fair play to him. He's my star of the week. Anyway, lads, that about wraps it up for this one. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment below whether you agree, disagree with each accolade that I've given to each team. Subscribe for more footy chats and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.